Hey, come tell me. Come tell me on camera. Come here, coward. Come here, coward. Oh. Right here on camera. Right here. Tell people intellectually who you are. Intellectually who I am. Go ahead, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm your mama. Yeah, can't even talk. Look at you. This is what they've turned the people into. This is this is it right here. Literal slave of the system. See that? That's who they are. Look at this slave. That was great. Come on. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I know. I'm trying to because you're brainwashed. This is the brainwashing. Where they have more coffee. This is the brainwashing. You see? And I'm proud of this. Because this is who they are. I've deliberately, that's why they're allied with jihadis, because they hate the West so much. They hate the West so much. They hate the prosperity, because if you look at that guy, he was physically grotesque. He was physically soul sucked. He was physically empty. And that's why we have to come out here and show people what's going on, because these people are bots. They're in a cult. How you doing? How you doing, brother? They don't know what's going on. Can, can, can you speak? We're trying to see if any of these folks can speak out here. I don't talk to racist fucks. There you go. See, they cannot even talk. It's a cult bot where they get to feel good, call everyone racist heifers, they watch MSNBC, they go along with all this stuff, and they have absolutely no understanding of how brainwashed they are. In total globalist economic warfare against an attempt for our country to get out of the Trans-Pacific Partnership that was bipartisanly set up and written in secret. And that's why bipartisanly, come on over here. Come on over here. No, you flip me off. Come on, coward. No, 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 come on. You're not an intellectual. You're a fake and a fraud. Come on, coward. Come on. No, 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 no. You want to flip me off? No, you're not an intellectual. You're a dumbass. Uh-oh. No, you fuck off. I am fucking off. Hey, fuck you. Fuck you. Coward. Yeah. You know something? I'm not afraid of you people. You got something to say? Say it. You have I nothing said, intellectual. I said, fuck you. Yeah, because you're an intellectual dumbass who watches the mainstream media. Anyways, it's cowards want to get in people's faces. Yeah, how's it going, brother? Good. Just trying to expose the shit going on here. We're trying to plunge the stock market. They're flooding us with jihadis. We're trying to take our country back. TPP just seized control of our country. Trump killed it. And the CIA is saying they're about to kill him on TV. And these little trendy cowards want to tell people like me, F off, but then don't want to actually talk to my face. Let's go. God bless you, brother. That's all these people got is fuck you. Well, you know what? Fuck you. Look at this. And we're out here pointing out that they, they tell us repudiate this repudiate that but then they can't even talk and then meanwhile all they did was repudiate it but then when there's actually dozens and dozens dead and all that's happening they completely flip out I don't know what to do because John Oliver and all the rest of these people have told him I'm evil it's so sad what slaves they are and how anti-liberal they are and how anti-free speech they are so I've specifically come out here so people can witness these folks for themselves, the witness, the brainwashing, wit witness what they've gone through. See? And, and, and just witness what the weaker mind is going through brainwashing, what happens to them. Because, you know, the sad part is, these are victims. And I need to stand here, and I need to take this, just like the president is, to be strong in the face of cowardice and peer pressure, just like we literally saw in Nazi Germany where they bullied people into submission. This way? Yeah. Bullied people into submission, into turning against first one group and then all the other groups. And so he told me, I'm gonna pour my hot coffee on you. And I said, go ahead. And quite frankly, it was it was just, it felt wonderful. It's like a hot bath. And that's what this is all about, is just being baptized in the truth and seeing these guys be forced to awaken. So that's why we're out here to show you the abject fear these people are in and how scared they are of someone actually trying to return power back to the people and actually turning the economy on. They're so pissed about $4 trillion in the stock market. They're so pissed about $400 billion in new jobs, 1.5 million new jobs. They're so pissed over a thousand companies coming back. They're so pissed that their whole identity was in Hillary, this evil globalist, 
and that when she failed, they all felt existentially wounded. And so the demonization by the media begins, and then I deserve to be attacked by these fascists because they believe I'm a Nazi, just like the Islamists that are being brought in. Doesn't matter they were allied with the Nazis in World War II. Doesn't matter George Soros was a Nazi. The reality doesn't matter. It's about feeling good for these people. Let's continue. So we're coming down here to get something to eat. I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna be live in exactly one hour, about an hour and two minutes, infowars.com forward slash show. We're doing this on Periscope right now. I'm gonna get this uploaded to Facebook and YouTube. For some reason, we're locked out of that right now. And, you know, I, I think more and more, I'm gonna go to these cities. And just, I think I think I might let these people kill me. I, I think I'd let them just put my, they pull out a knife, I'm just ready. Because I think I'm just ready, to, like Christ, to, to take your savage attacks. You know, just like the jihadis are murdering everybody and you love it. I mean, all over Twitter, they celebrate when these jihadis kill people. Uh, because they're allied with it. They know it's anti-Western. They know it's anti-American. And they hate us. They hate Christians. They, they hate open society. They want to conquer this society. And so there is an alliance uh, with the big mega banks and the power structure in Hollywood and kind of the unwashed, groveling, globalist, unhappy masses that have so tripled and quadrupled down into their systems that they're so unhappy now they don't even know what to do. It's a good background, man. And so they're only intensifying it deeper and deeper. And I've watched these people even when I'm not around. They're super unhappy. They're super scramble-brained. Then you see a good-looking family and a good-looking guy and woman, and you'll know, oh, those are listeners. They'll say, hey, Alex, how you doing? Or even homeless folks that are from different parts of the country that actually read stuff. But kind of the ruling class people that are here, it's amazing. Was all that feed going out live when that happened? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, they'll probably spin it and say that I attacked him because again, yeah, it's fake news. No, and okay. I, I even told him, don't touch him, don't touch him, don't touch him, because he kept bowing up to you. He was. But see, himself. I felt so sad for him. Well, you can't attack someone like that. But, uh, you can't defend yourself from him because he's just so weak. He so. was literally, literally like a spiritually sucked yeah. person. I thought he was fat. The whole goblin-like spirit. Did you see? That's why I call them goblins. I, I, I did. These are literal goblin forces we're up against, and uh, I feel sorry for him. What happens to him? Because I've known people that become trendies who even look normal, and they just kind of go. Bleh. And within a few years, um, very, 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 very sad. Anyways, you know, beautiful place, a lot of good people. Uh, and you know, all I know, I'm just out there saying, hey, they won't call an Islamic attack. <coughs> and uh, you know, it, 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 it doesn't matter. But they're like so into this that they get to call somebody a Nazi, that they get to get upset at people, and that it just feels so good that they're the good guys and you're the bad guy. And it's a total corporate deal written up in the boardrooms. It's in all the WikiLeaks. They want to keep them desperate, keep them poor, keep them controlled. They've got weird fake bots that are their friends. And then they, they're always alone too. You always see them out here kind of alone. And they don't know what to do and they're scared. And then they finally see what they believe is the reason they're so unhappy when they've bought into a lie. But we've run into so many good people, hell, until until yesterday, what would you say? About 80% of people were friendly and, and shaking our yeah, hand and liked yeah, us. people who would walk up to you. Yep. But then, well, since last night, just particularly down these streets, yeah, uh, a lot of folks honk and wave and say hi. Like you saw the homeless go, hey, Alex, you know, Alex Jones, but Real that deep guy, deep. you know, I mean, I actually chase these guys because they walk up and they go, F you. And then I go, hey, talk to us. You know, and they don't want to do that. They want to sit there and they want to be cowards. And they want to attack people for their intellectual ideas. And that's just like Antifa. They want everybody to say Antifa is above the law. Antifa can do no wrong. They can go out and attack people, beat them over the head with bike locks, do all this, and that's okay. And then they can attack reporters from the Hill uh, and from Infowars, and that's okay. CBS too. And, and, and CBS, and then, and then we have the clips of CNN and MSNBC saying, no, no, we're allowed to be violent. We're the good guys. So it's quite a system where they say, we're gonna be violent, we're gonna attack everybody and just label anybody we want, including CBS, The Hill, we're gonna attack women reporters because we are just these godlike people that are so transcendent and so good and so righteous. Where have we heard of this before? Uh, that, that, that we can just do whatever we want. We just tuned in and we're gonna post this live feed as an archive in a minute, physically attacked, people bumping into me, people going F you, just shaking with hatred. But, but, but oh, they'll say, oh, but John Oliver and Stephen Colbert, Alex, don't get upset about those shows. They're just joking. But then I talk to people who work for us where their landlord comes and says, you've got to get out in a month because you work for Alex Jones. Okay? And, and then they ask, where'd you hear that I, you know, I'm a bad person? Oh, I heard it on Stephen Colbert. So see, they're, they're ready to attack me, but oh, all this stuff's just a joke. 
well, you know what? I'm going to intensify in the face of these bullies, and I'm never going to back down. And in one hour, we are going to be live in one hour, ladies and gentlemen, uh, and we are going to cover all of this and get into all the latest developments. Oh, and the fact that North Korea backed down uh, two days ago and didn't fire their missiles at Guam, but oh, no credit for Trump on that. Uh, you know, oh, or just like uh, the uh, Islamic ban from the uh, seven countries that are totally unvetted, where the imams issue the passports. He had to do that. Other presidents have done that before. Oh, that was all crazy. The Supreme Court nine to zero, or the Supreme Court justice he got, or the four trillion in the stock market, or killing TPP, or killing the carbon tax. Or see, nobody wants to talk about that. Just say failure, failure, failure. Stock market's failing, 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 failing. Openly trying to make all these people poor and stupid, and in a way they almost deserve it. But so many good people don't deserve it. So that's what it comes down to. So let's go get a bite before we go back and go live. Infowars.com forward slash show. We may go live at any time. Just have it ready, you know, like, like, like it's our information warfare six years in the Infowars. Just have that, that ready to go live at any time, Zimmerman, uh, because you never know. Like you said, you said you saw one guy here, so they'll go to plot me with a skateboard. You've even advised me not even to be out here, but, but we're here because we're going to show them what is happening and what is going on, just exposing. Uh, how, 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 how they've set this whole thing up with very, very weak-minded people. But this is what mind control looks like. This is what the, the whole country's going to look like with these bullies beating everybody up in the street, just like Nazis in 1935 Germany with their SAs in the street, or, or their SS by that time. If we don't stand up and say no, infowars.com forward slash show. This is what big government looks like. This is what the game mentality looks like. This is what the fall of civilization looks like. This is what Venezuela and North Korea and the big government wonder states look like. And we're here to fight back because this is America. It's Alex Jones right here in Seattle going live in one hour. Infowars.com forward slash show and stations across the country.